Hey guys and welcome back to the online learning space. Today what we're going to look at creating is how to create a simple custom header that will make your multimedia portfolios look that little bit nicer. You can see if we're using Word you can put one of these headers in Word or if you're using uh, InDesign it will also fit in nicely. So the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, create a new Photoshop document and we will make this 2550 wide and we'll make it 450 high. So now once we have this, okay, you need to start to think about a few things. The first thing that you need to think about is the colors that you're going to use or whether you're going to use a picture for the background. Now there are some really nice websites out there. For example, this website which is called Adobe Color, all right, it has color schemes which have already been pre-made that, that the colors sit nicely together. And so all you have to do is just you know copy the hex values for these colors and you can use them in your designs. So I've already chosen this color scheme. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use some of these hex values. So I'll go back into Photoshop. I'll change my foreground color and I will use the paint bucket tool to create a nice, nice background. I then am going to change the color of the text. I'm going to have this uh, creamy color. So I'm going to change the color again and I'm going to get my T tool out and I'm going to write my logo name. Now I've already got a font that I really really like. So I'm going to stick with this. Okay, if you have a font you really really like then uh, just use that but just be consistent with you know don't use too many fonts. So now that I have my heading, just going to add a little bit more text. So now that I've got the, the basis of my uh, text. I'm then going to work on, you know, putting some random shapes and, you know, trying to make it a little bit more unique and original. So I'm going to click on a new layer. I'm going to look at the colors that I'm going to use. So I'm going to use a mixture of this blue and this red. So I'm going to click on that blue, go back, change my foreground color. All right, and I'm going to grab this tool over here, the polygonal lasso tool. And I'm just going to make shapes by clicking and then joining them up again and I'm making sure that I'm on my new layer and if I fill that I can create something like that which I can you know then move around I can also free transform or even rotate so I'm also going to use that red in there somewhere so if, if you want to increase the complexity of this and maybe make it stand out a little bit more, there are some other things that you can do. For example, you can go to this website which is called pexels.com and it's a stock, a free stock photo website and you can download some really, really nice shots and put that into your header. So for example, I've now got a picture of a sunset. And you really have to keep in mind that, you know, does the picture, you know, does the color of the picture really match, you know, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, if you need to add filters and things like that over it to make it, you know, you, you can also. But also we have this thing which is called uh, Flame Painter. Now Flame Painter is a really, really cool website that you can go to online and you can create uh, really, really cool original artworks that you can put back and use into your header as well. Or even like a combination of these, uh, you know, two things. So if you have maybe Flame Painter and you look at some of the, you know, the, the blending, the layer styles, you know, you can create some really abstract kind of stuff. So the, the possibilities are endless. But let's say for example, we're pretty happy with uh, this design. It's gonna go with the basic one. First, what we need to do is we need to save it. Save it as a JPEG. And then all you have to do to get it into Word is 
just make sure that you have your you go to insert header and all you have to do is just drag your header inside of word now you will have to go to format and make sure that it's square and while holding while holding shift you can drag it out to the end of your page and what's really cool with this is uh, it will appear on every other page of your document if you're using InDesign it's the same process all you will have to do is you would have to place the image so you would press Control D to place and then you can uh, drag out the image to where it needs to go so anyways guys I hope you've learned something from this lesson um, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time